first and foremost, I'm not anti-vote. I just don't give a fuck about it. Our Congress is made up of two houses, the upper house and the lower house. The upper house is the Senate. The lower house is the House of Representatives. There are 535 members of our Congress. A hundred of them are senators and 435 of them are in the House of Representatives. Now let's get into it. The House of Representatives propose notions and treaties and the Senate decides verdicts upon these notions. So pretty much the House of Representatives come up with shit and the Senate calls the shots. The lower house comes up with what they want to do and the upper house tells them if they're going to do it or not. Each state is broken up into districts to determine how many representatives each state gets. This is based on population. For example, they say Pennsylvania's population is 12.8 million people, so we get 18 delegates. Idaho only has 1.7 million people, so they only get 7 delegates. In comparison to New Jersey, even though they're way smaller than Idaho, they have 8.9 million people, so they get 12 delegates. The Senate is way easier. It's two delegates to each state, 50 states, two times 50, 100 senators. You get it. Now, currently, there are 52 black people in the House of Representatives out of 435 and four black senators out of 100, leaving us representing a whopping 10% of Congress. Now, what's interesting to me is, even though black people are the highest population of the minorities of this country, and black people vote the most, statistically, of all the minorities of this country, the Asian community have three senators and the Hispanic Latino community have four senators, just like we do. Why is that if voting matters? They do black people so dirty and y'all want to vote so fucking bad. Like we have, we vote more than the rest of the minorities. We have more delegates in the House of Representatives than the other minorities, yet they equal us in legislative power in the upper house? What? To further elaborate on the whole voting thing I'm saying, if, if you don't know what the fuck I be talking about and shit like that, you should go vote. You gotta go participate shit. Don't be saying, if you don't got a reason not to vote, there's no reason why you shouldn't vote. I have a reason why I'm not fucking voting. I just be giving up tape on the motherfuckers because me individually giving the fuck ain't gonna make a change and voting ain't either, so. I don't really give a fuck about the government, whether they get better, whether they get worse. I don't really give a fuck. It don't matter to me. God got me. So when you put it in that perspective, all the other shit is irrelevant. Personally, I don't give a fuck about the voting thing because I'm not with the whole appointing somebody to get some shit done that we could collectively do ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no fucking spokesman. So why y'all need one is beyond me, but. I don't care if you destroy the Republican or Democratic Party because at one time blacks were Republicans and you dominated those seven years after civil after civil, um, after the Civil War. You were Republicans. You had more blacks in the House and Senate than you do now. And you dominated your own economic and communities. You did that as Republicans. As Democrats, you did the same in cities like Atlanta. You failed in other cities. But the most important thing is self-organizing. We leave this campus green and go out into this world we must use our individual degrees we must use our individual professions to accomplish this task so for all of us it's going to education we're not striving to be the first black principal of some school we're striving to open black firm in a black community to combat the social injustices that are systematically and unapologetic, unapologetically committed against our people as highlighted by the Diallo Johnson Diallo case for those of us that's going into medicine we're not striving to be some head physician at some general hospital. We're striving to open up black medical centers in black communities to combat these diseases and, and these diseases and, and viruses that are putting onto our people every day on the street combined with the denial of foods in black communities to, to combat the hundreds of years of miseducation and de-education that has destroyed our children's mindsets. For all of us that's going to law, we're not striving to be some corporate attorneys. You understand? We're striving to open up a black law